welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have an easy DIY Dollar Tree craft for you. We are going to use these little ornaments from the Dollar Tree, any shape you want. Um, I have some pumpkins, I have some turkeys, and what we're going to make is either napkin ring holders or uh, place setting names where you can put the name on it by either wrapping it around the napkin or by standing them up or you can use them to like label food on the buffet um, turkey gluten-free keto options you can just you know, if you have a buffet set up you can set one of these in front of that food item and it'll kind of say what it is and um, if it's like gluten-free sugar-free if you have dietary needs or you could just put what the foods are you could also glue like food picks to these and stick them in a food, one of the foods, just so you could see it. Um, so there's a lot of different ways to go, but what you'll need for sure, paint brushes, I got these at the Dollar Tree. I picked up these, I got a lot of these little wooden ornaments. Um, wood stain is not from the Dollar Tree, but what I've heard is you can use the men's beard and mustache dye in the dark brown and use it as wood stain i learned that on crafty share cupcakes yesterday um, they also sell different paints i did not get these paints there but you'll need some paints um i have a ruler and a pencil and then i have some paint pens and then these are this is chalk paint like chalkboard paint and this is white permanent, it's permanent. This doesn't wash off, where this would wipe off. And then I use this black. Um, I'm also using from the Dollar Tree, this is called um, Fix All Adhesive. It's their version of like E6000. A dusting cloth, you can also just have regular chalk. Um, oh, and the Tumble Tower Game, which is like their version of Jenga. It's just these little tiny blocks, unfinished. And I think that's everything that I use and a hot glue gun, if you would like, or a hot glue gun and a hot glue gun, either way. And I'll show you the option that you can use for the hot glue gun. Um, I also had some of these on hand because when I'm painting, um, these are like wipes, baby wipes, cleaning wipes. So I keep these on hand when I'm painting to wipe things down. And I think that's everything. So let me readjust the camera and I will show you exactly what I'm doing. And this is so easy, but I think it's gonna be so cute. So give me one second. All right, as you can see, I've been painting on this. This is a, uh, one of the little cutting boards from the Dollar Tree, it just keeps my table clean. Okay, so what we are gonna do, first off, I'm gonna open up a package of these wooden ornaments. You can keep the twine or not. That's up to you if you want to. The first thing I did was stain them. So I used this Minwax in the Jacobean um, to stain. And I've had this for a while. I use it, I like this color. So like I said, you could use that man um, hair dye, but they also sell these at the Dollar Tree, which are furniture scratch markers in different, three different colors. You could color them with this marker. This is, I believe it's like a wood stain. Yeah, it smells like it. It is, do not shake, begin with light color first and then use darker colors to match furniture. So it's. This is walnut. I think it comes with black and a different color. So you could totally buy a, cup, a pack or two of these and color these in if you want wood color from the Dollar Tree. So that is certainly an option. So paint it or you could paint it. So I took the pumpkins and I painted them with this apple barrel paint. This is in the spiced carrot and I added some water to it to make it thinner. I didn't want opaque. I wanted to be able to see a little bit of the wood. And then I took some gold and just kind of highlighted it so you can see that it looks like a pumpkin. And I made the stem gold. I may go back over the stem. Let's see if it, what it looks like if I go over the stem with this furniture marker. 
Now there is already paint on it, so kind of keep that in mind, but, oh, oh yes. That would work very well if you wanted to paint your pumpkins or whatever, like a wood color. Yeah, that would work perfectly, I think. And then you just need to let it dry. With the stain, I painted it on and then I wiped it off. It does not work good on these tumble tower blocks, but I bet you this marker would. Oh yes. I would say a couple packs. It does absorb it pretty quickly. However, you don't want to buy wood stain. That works perfectly. And I got these in the home improvement section and they come in three packs. So that would be perfect to stain, um, to color the wood. If you wanted these wood toned. If not, you can get any color paint you want. I would recommend watering it down and kind of like whitewashing it on there. These are gonna be green and red, I think, but we'll see. I've got these flowers. So as you can see, I painted it on. Decor did everything I was gonna do. Now, there's a couple options here. This is chalkboard paint. Shake it up, you do two coats. One back and forth and one up and down. And you let it dry at least an hour between coats if you wanna do chalkboard. You could paint the whole thing chalkboard. chalkboard. You could do a circle in the center, a diagonal lines, however you wanna do it. And if you do the chalkboard, and I'll show you here in a second, then you can write on it with chalk and reuse them. Or you could write on them with a pen like this, which is a, um, I think I got this at Target in the Dollar Spot last year. It's a white marker pen that writes on dark paper and I've written on chalkboards. It just doesn't come off, so it would be a permanent situation. But that's an option too. So you wanna paint your items, or in this case, I stained my turkeys with the jackal bean and let them dry overnight. Then I came back through, you did need, oh, I'm sorry, I should have mentioned you need a ruler. And I marked where I thought the middle would be. And I took my Sharpie paint marker in black and I just drew a line on either side. And if you could see that right here. And that's where I'm painting the chalkboard paint. So I took some chalk paint, I put it in a bowl, and I painted it going this direction. And then when it dried an hour later, I went back and did it the other direction. And then you'll get this. And this is where you can write on this chalkboard section right there. But before I do anything else, I took these blocks and I glued two together. You can hot glue, I used the fix all, but I liked it this direction. You could do them flat and make it a bottom like this. You could do it like this. You could just do one. It depends what you wanna do. I wanted them a little more sturdy. So I glued two together, double stacked them, let it dry, and then I painted them black. And this is seriously just one coat of uh, the chalkboard, black chalkboard paint, because I wanted it to match. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have to look at the other one over here. Yes, that's what I did. You could do it this way or you could, it doesn't matter, but I tended to do them these, this way, because I wanted it a little higher up the back, just to give it that bit of stability. Ooh, you're not even seeing me. I'm gonna glue it, this, onto the feet. Now, you can use hot glue, but again, I used the E6000 tight glue, the fix-all. So what I'm doing is standing the turkey up here. Let's see if I can get a better view for you. So I know he's standing up straight. I push this to the back where I wanna glue it, hold it, and I took my pencil, and I just drew a couple lines so I know when I go back where I want this to be. That I know if it's on that line, it's straight. 
and I'm taking a little bit of this, which this stuff works really well. I mean, obviously if you buy a big tube of E6000, it's gonna be less expensive, but if you just need a little bit, and then I'm just putting a little of this glue on the feet and up here. Not super thick, just a thin layer, and I'm gonna let it sit for a minute, like five minutes, you wanna let it sit to get tacky, and that way it'll adhere better. So I'm gonna leave it sit over there and adhere. And we're gonna talk about some different options that you would have. So what you could do, take a pipe cleaner. I happen to have orange, fold it in half. And you could glue it in the center of this on the back. And then when you're ready to make your table, you would just tie that around. And now you've got a table napkin ring. And you could write with marker. You could write somebody's name with a black Sharpie. You could write, do some chalk paint on here and chalk their name. And this would be attached. You just want to let it dry really well. And then you would tie it around the back of your napkin. And that's your table setting in the middle of the plate with somebody's name on it. Or you could paint some of these orange and attach these to the back, like this. And it would allow it to stand up. And you could stand it in front of plates with somebody's name. You could stand it in front of food and put the name of the food on it. The last thing I would think you could do is depending on how deep you wanted that, you could glue a skewer into the back of it. You'd have to cut it with some wire nips. At probably I would say halfway you would I would hot glue Andy 6000 this to the back you would write whatever food you wanted and then you could stick it in the food like just it's a skewer this is food quality stick it in stick it in your pie stick it in your turkey and it would just label whatever it is and then when people come up to your buffet they'll be able to see what you have and what you're offering so we'll just say it's been five minutes. I'm going to stand this up, stand him up, because again, I want him to be standing upright perfectly, and I'm just going to slide that wooden block into the glue. And even after just those few minutes, it's sticking all on its own, and it's not sliding around. And now... I got some glue on my finger. See how the turkey is standing up on its own? We'll let him dry. And this could be a place setting or whatever. Oops. It's on a surface that's wanting it to tip forward. There. So he'll stand up all on his own. Once that has dried, and I'm gonna leave that overnight, this is what it's gonna look like. This is already complete. You could also fill in before you do anything, this whole, I'm not gonna worry about it. You could also attach a bow or some twine or whatever. Um, you could paint this whole turkey black too and just make it the whole thing, but I'm not gonna do that. Now, per the directions for the chalk paint, once, and I have this to wipe it off, once this is completely dry, you take some chalk and you just kind of rub it in and it's seasoning, if you will, or priming the chalk where you're going to write your chalk. And it just kind of fills in those little, any holes, and then you just wipe it off. Now you could, um, Like moisten it or whatever and get all of that excess chalk out of there and you can also do this part before you glue it so now this is primed and ready to be used as a chalkboard so I could write on here keto my messy chalk writing with, key, with the chalk, or you 
what we could do is take this. Now this is a Bistro chalk marker. It um, wipes off. And it just says, um, see if you listen, there's liquid in here. And we'll just say whatever, we'll put my name on this one. Oops. Gonna put your hand behind it. I like these much better than I like chalk. However, and you can write somebody's name. So this is what it would look like in chalk. And if you got, you know, different chalks, color chalk, things like that, or with the chalk marker. And I'll just have to, this is wet. So if I want to take my name off, that's how you do it. You just kind of moisten it. Oops. And now my name is gone with the wet. That also will work with regular chalk. You just don't want to leave it on there, the moisture on there too long. But now they're clean. Now had I used this marker, that wouldn't come off. But it's okay. You can also send that home with your guests. I just think these are going to be adorable on my Thanksgiving table. Um, you know, labeling food. And it doesn't have to be just that. I mean, they have ones for Halloween. If you're having, let's say, a Halloween party, you could do the witch's hat, the black cat's. These are adorable and super easy little DIY, and I hope you enjoyed, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye!